Jesus! He's Doors closed. This door's gonna hurt. Holy shit! We're golden! Yeah, we are. Golden. Man, it feels good. Let's fucking enjoy this. Mom, let's see if she'll move. Up for it. Thank you. That's very thoughtful. He isn't fussy, you know. What? Most kids, they're really fussy about what they'll eat. Hate vegetables, that kind of thing. Not duck, huh? No. The most trouble I ever have is making him use a fork. Thank you, Lee. Sure. Hey, sweet pea. You okay out here? Feels good. Uh, me All yours. Damn it. Of course, we're still attached. Can you go find out where we're stuck and get us unstuck? Yeah. Hey, Kenny, we're loose! You touch any of my stuff?
the map of the train routes. That's fine. You can have that. Really? Yeah. I got them all right up here. I guess it's no worse for wear. Name's Chuck. Charles, if you fancy. Lee. That your crew outside? Yeah. And the guy up in the cab? Him too. I saw you walking through here and thought about scaring the pants off you. What? But I couldn't force myself to do it. You're still kind of freaking me out. Train folk will do that. Already met everyone outside. They all warm to me right quick in direct sunlight. You met Chuck. Yeah, I did. It's so nice to meet someone normal for a change. He gave us candy, Ben too. Welcome. Thank you. You met Kenny? Sure did. Man shares my love of the road. That's for certain. Sorry, your son's not feeling good. I appreciate your concern. Well, with a little TLC, I'm sure he'll be fit as a fiddle in no time. And I can offer y'all whatever I got, although it ain't much. Thank you. We'd like to do the same. Why don't we hold off on... Uh... Stay with us. We'd like the company. Candy Chuck gave you. The taste okay? It was really good. No funny aftertaste? No. Train's cool, huh? I guess. Scary, kind of. How you doing, Ben? I'm watching the girls and not working on a mega cool train. What do you think? Hey, Chuck. Howdy. Where are you from? You live around here? Georgia boy. You saw where I live. Why are you alone? Why not? Seem to be doing all right. Fine, then. I'm sorry. I do like being around y'all, actually. It's nice. You caught us on a bad day. Mm. You still got a couple of kids. And this one's got a good spirit. That's some kind of something. I'll talk to you later. Hope so. I better get back to it. So that's it? We're cut loose? Seems that way, yeah. Great. We don't got much left, so just gather whatever you have. Let's go. Wanna ride? Well, it sounds like you're taking my home. That's a yes, then. I haven't found anything better for keeping the creepy crawlies out than that boxcar. Duck's sick. Get on the train, Clementine. He's getting sicker. Let me look at him. We can't ignore this. Look at the kid, Kenny. This is happening. Ain't shit happening. And if it were, what can we do here? We get on the train and we find something better. That is the plan. I think Lee just wants to talk it through. It's talked through! Get on, Kent. I'll be up front. I don't want to hear any nonsense until we get where we're going.
Gotta be hard on you, eh? Three adults taking care of three kids. No disrespect, son. There were more of us. Dad, get him. No. Ah, Livin' got him. Lee. Lee, I need you right now. I need you to go get Ken. What's up? Would you get that off his face? My hands are full here. Could you just get that off his face, please? He's out of time. We need to stop this train. Okay. Please. I'm not going back in there until I talk to Kitty. Going back in there till I talk to Kitty. You need to stop the train. Kenny. What? Ken. What the hell's that? Your son's blood. Get out of here, Lee. You know he's dying. Nobody knows shit. He'll be fine. I'm sorry. I shouldn't talk like that right now. Go back there and tell my wife everything will be fine. What is the goddamn deal? He's a little sick, but we can't just quit. It's a scratch. He's not like the others. Jesus, all y'all are just making it worse. This isn't about Doug. It's not about my son dying. What the hell do you know? You're not my friend. I don't hate you. You sure as shit haven't done anything for me. You think you're the reason Duck was bitten? Like you had this coming or something? You didn't kill Herschel's son. Yes, I did. And now it's catching up to me. That's not what went down. You looked out for your kid, and a bad thing happened to someone else's. There ain't no way this world lets my son live when I help put someone else's in the ground. That's not the way it works. You know that. Stop the train, man. Always been bit, in case you haven't figured that out. We shouldn't waste time. There ain't none left to waste. I'm saying we shouldn't stay put. What are we gonna do? We can't allow him to become one of those things. But what if what if he doesn't? Ken, I love you very much. I love our son more than life itself. I need you to hear me. What you are saying, that he may not turn, is foolish. But... No. There's... Come on, Cap. If you think of one, you let me know. Isn't there some sort of pill or something we can just give him? Stop it. Can just drift off to sleep. Right, hon? I mean, Jesus, this is our son. I know. But we know it's here or nothing. Fuck. Just who, then? You want me to? You don't have to. I'll do it. No. 
You don't have to. God, you fuck. I, I, I can. I can do this. You can't. I love you, Ken, but this is beyond you. I'll do it. No, it should be a parent. No parent should have to do something like this. Please ride, Cat. We can say our goodbyes and just let that be it. I don't know. Lee, you'd be doing this family a great service. Why don't we take him into the forest so Clementine doesn't have to see? Yeah. Give us a moment to say goodbye. Of course. Things are... What the... No! Ben, take Clementine into the train. Go. It'll be fine. Cat! Cat! Gotcha! What do we do? Give me the gun, kid. I'll do it. Chuck said. What Chuck say? That what happened to Duck would happen to me. 
the fuck he did. I swear. Sorry. I'm gonna talk some sense into it. Don't be mad. Hey. How you doing? I don't care what reasons you had for doing it. No reason to go and tell my girl she's gonna end up dead. Go she is. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. Y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do you know? I know that you don't have a goddamn plan. We get to Savannah, and then what? We find a boat. You think that's a new idea? You got even the foggiest idea about where you're gonna find one of those. Look, sit down with the girl and hash it out. Find a map, for Christ's sake. I'd give you one if I had it. And if something were to happen to you... It won't. If it were, you gotta prepare the girl. Teach her to use a weapon, and for crime, and he cut that hair. She's a little girl. And she'll die a little girl if you treat her like one. You gotta consider her a living person. That's it. You're either living or you're not. You ain't little, you ain't a girl, you ain't a boy. You ain't strong or smart. You're alive. Look at her hair. You got her running around with a mop that's gonna act like Velcro to any hand swinging its way. Find some scissors in my pack and take care of that hair before a walker does it for you. And then show her how to use a gun. Because like it or not, that's what saves your life from here on out. I don't mean to tell you how to do your job. But too many people have died already. They have. And seeing another little girl die might just do me in. I hear you. A plant, a haircut, and a gun. It's good advice. It's something. You have any family? Out there, somewhere. Been sort of on my own for the past, oh, 14 years now. I'm sorry to hear that. No one to blame. You're homeless then? Eh, suppose. I've had homes here and there, and... And they just don't work out. I like a drink, you know? Yeah. Got any? No. Darn. I shot the kid, you know? I suppose someone had to. What a mess. You said it. Where are you headed? Uh, that way. I mean when we get to Savannah. Got a few ideas. We'll have a talk when we get there about whether or not you folks want company. Be safe up here. You betcha. Hey. Yo. I was lucky enough to get it working once. Mind if I get by you for a second, Kitty? Can you just leave me alone? It'll be good to get to the water. You still want to get a boat? It's still the best plan. Can. Yeah. It's the best plan. Hey. Yeah? I wanted to talk to you about keeping my past from you all. You told us it was your parents' store back in Macon. That was enough personal information. I'm sure... Cat be, uh, okay with you. So forget it. Okay. Are there any maps up here? I don't know. I just, uh, want to look over one with Clem so she has a lay of the land once we get to Savannah. I'll, uh, talk to you later, Kenny. Ben. Hey. Aren't many of us left? Yeah. 
You, me, and Kenny. Clementine. The homeless dude if he sticks around. We're all homeless. You know what I mean. There's not much use in describing people by who they were. Yeah, I guess not. Doug saved your life, you know. I know, I know. I don't know if I can go on like this, man. Well, you're gonna. That's just the way it is. See ya. Yeah. The door to the boxcar. I hope we're not on this train much longer. Fifth of whiskey. They look clean enough. Hey, Clint. Did you talk to him? I did. He had some, uh... He explained himself and made some good points. Look, we're not gonna let anything bad happen to you. But there are some precautions we have to take. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Don't worry, sweetheart. Okay. What should we do? Well, I'm gonna figure out a plan for when we get to Savannah. Teach you how to protect yourself and, uh, tidy up a little so you can't get grabbed so easily. I'd like that. Good. You need to know how to protect yourself. Like hiding or running away? Got it. I mean with one of these. First, don't be afraid of it. It's just a thing. Take it. But know where your finger is all the time. And don't put it on the trigger unless you want to hurt somebody. Okay. Okay. See? It's not scary. It's heavy. You'll get stronger. To aim, you look right down the top, through that notch. Line up the sight at the end with your target. Is there anything else I should know? I know these are just bottles, but you have to aim for the head. I know. Only the head. Unless it's not a walker and it's someone trying to hurt you. And then? Head or body. Anywhere. I don't want to think about that. You're right. It might be a lot for your first day. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Good. Don't lock your elbows. Okay, let's take your first shot. Squeeze the trigger smoothly and I'll cover your ears. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. You okay? My hands hurt. I don't like this. Let's stick with it, okay? Do I have to? Yeah, you do. to the left. Okay, a little higher. A bit to the right. Aim lower. I got it! Excellent. Good shot. You did. Good job. I just pretended they were walker heads. Good. Just like you should. They're not walkers, though. No. Far from it. But you know how these things work now. We'll graduate you to walkers one day. Okay. I feel good. Not so scary, huh? Nuh-uh. 